Biafra update, ladies and gentlemen, my viewers, my listeners, I welcome you to Living uh, to um, Biafra Universal Channel. So, as we go, listen carefully why the whole world have second demotion for Biafrans to exit Nigeria. It has become a must to the extent that those who didn't believe it before have agreed that Biafrans deserve a nation. They deserve to be sovereign on their own. So, as you're listening to me, remember less as a celebration, dancing and merriment have begun in Biafra land by the hand of one man who have decided to lay down his life for his people in the person of the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic in exile, Master Simon Eba, have brought smile on the faces of Biafrans again. Irrespective of the pains and agonies, all right, they have gone through or they have been through in Nigeria. Shimon Epa have made his point explicit and very clear to the whole world as they demand the reason why Biafrans are fighting to be a nation on their own. Shimon Epa have let them know how marginalized Biafrans have been. They are being tribalized that Biafrans have no place of their own except Biafra land because every part of Nigeria rejected Biafrans. And I want to tell you who is listening to me. Are you from Major? Are you from Edo, you're from Delta, you're from Enugu, you're from um, wherever, you know, Aloma in Kogi State is part of Biafra land. I want to let you know that we are all one. And very soon, the truth shall be spoken that we are all one. We are one people, one Biafra, one mother, one father, without segregation and without negative interpretation. We are one. Anything you like to feel, feel it. There is no disparity among Biafrans. Their friends are one. Are you getting what I'm saying? Anybody can say whatever I want to say in order to induce misunderstanding, conflict, and fighting amongst their friends. I'm not surprised at that because in every 12th, there must be Judas. So what I'm telling you this moment is that the strength of their friends are increasing day by day by the hands of Prime Minister Simon Eba. You can see from every indication that Simon Eba is beyond the control of Nigeria government and so-called Igbo politicians who have sold 
their respects, their magnanimities, and their integrities for a certain amount of money. And still, they are not satisfied. If you should ask them now, all the millions and billions they collected as bribe just to sell an innocent man, what have they achieved with it? Nothing. But what I'm here to tell you this moment is that the departure of their friends in Nigeria is mandatory. It has been mandated with a stipulated date for their friends to leave Nigeria. And this is going to happen without the consultations of the detractors of their friends because they are not needed. You as a beer friend listening to me, tighten your belt. The time for the last battle is now. And remember, the whole world, the whole world have been listening. But it seems to you that they remain silent. It's not all the country on earth that hate beer friends. There are countries that are solidly behind the friends. Today, we are not talking about IPOB. Are you listening to me? Why we are not talking about IPOB today is because that particular organization called IPOB are the people who sold Mazenam de Kano with the help of other people, which I will not go into it talking about it. So IPOB now was when the Biafra agitation was going on. All right. IPOB give birth to ESN, a child of necessity. ESN was a child of necessity. God will bless them. They really don't, did well during their time. It's not that they fed away. But what happened now is that Simon Epa with the military heart and military might and being an advocate, senior advocate in a developed country, have taken over the struggle for Biafra freedom. We are no more talking about, about agitation. We are now talking about Biafra freedom. We are talking about referendum. Are you getting what I'm saying? The process is going on. We are no more carrying flags and flyers. We are agitating. We are no more agitating. We are now moving to declaration of Biafra nation. To show you that we have grown. We are now matured. We know what we are doing. We know what we are looking for. So now, the mantle of leadership of Biafra nation have fall upon Prime Minister Simon Eba. And without hesitation or reservation, he decided to take the bull by the horn to prove to the whole world that he is a man and he can do it and I can see him doing it. For him to have demanded for the total freedom of their friends from Nigeria, I didn't see it as a crime. That is self-determination. 
self-defense. It's not a crime. Talk it today, talk it tomorrow. I'm telling you, I still stand on the side of the truth. That their friends shall not continue remaining, remain slaves. They shall not continue remain slaves, slaves in Nigeria. No, enough is enough. But let me quickly announce to you, you who is listening to me, that there are some Biafrans, some Igbos, who we are with Maz Namdekano. And there were those at the head and the top that masterminded his kidnap. I want to tell you that they are not relenting effort. They are busy day and night to make sure that Mazen and Amdekano did not come out of the DSS facilities. And at the same time, they are undergroundly forming their own militaries to join Nigerian militaries to fight Biafra Liberation Armies. Go and mark it one place. It's not a rumor. It is real. Those evil men and women who endangered the life of Ohamadike are still working hard to make sure that Ohamadike did not come out of DSS custody. And at the same time, they are organizing military training undergroundly to recruit some Igbo youths, Biafran youths, let me say, who are hungry now to join a Nigerian military terrorist to fight Biafra liberation armies so that the declaration of Biafra nation will it not take place because they knew it deep down in their heart that as Biafra is declared a nation, they are doomed. Don't take this world for granted. Take it for gratitude. Then, because your gratitude determines your attitude. How far you will, you will go in life is determined by how, how happy you are at this moment to where God has brought you to. So, which means your gratitude determines your attitude. Relevantly, I want to inform my people that I love so much. Let me show you that I love you so much, dear friends. So, the person who hates me can die. The person who doesn't want to hear my voice can jump inside the ocean and boil. But I want to quickly announce to you that irrespective of their underground work, Chukwoke Kabiyama is not sleeping. Take it from me. And I know that Chukwoke Kabiyama, as long as he does not sleep, now blink his eyes. Alright? He has designated mighty men of valors in the valley of Ajalons to make sure that the uncircumcised Philistines and the Achaeans, the Athenians, 
and the sons of Anarchy, the Jebusite, the Perishite, the Gagashite, must be destroyed. Because it has not come to your mind that there are a new Joshua's and Caleb's men of the same past pa passion who convinced Moses we can throw the giants out of the land of promise and we shall possess it which we are capable we are more than able to possess the land that the Lord God Almighty have given to our forefathers. Maybe our forefathers were unable to possess this land. But this generation of Biafra shall possess the land that flow with milk and honey. The land that terrorism can never exist. The land that criminality infidelity, cruelty shall be utterly destroyed. The land, Biafra land, there will be no partiality and there will be no favoritism. As you are listening to me, if you are sleeping, I believe that you are hearing my voice. If you are awake, I know that you are going to Increase wisdom and your height for Biafra freedom fighting shall increase. We are going to maximize everything maximizable in order to take that which belongs to us, which have been completely confiscated by the Athenians, people who doesn't have backbone people that their backbones are strong. We are going to knock them out of the land of Biafra. Simon Epa is walking day and night. And we shall not fold our hands, watch only him walking. Because one mighty tree cannot make a mighty forest. All right. He has set everywhere on fire in Nigeria. The fire of freedom is burning. What are you talking about? Fire of freedom is burning. In every crane and corner of Nigeria. Let the referendum take place today. You will see little or nobody standing as a Nigerian. Because Nigeria is gone. Fellow dear friends, I want you to wake up it's a wake up call. Makanam ufo isi na fufu. We are about to enter. And we must enter Biafra land. This year, with the determinations and objectives, positivities. All right. We can consult our enemies before we enter our ancestral land. We cannot negotiate with our detractors, embezzlers. We, we, we have no job with the pen robbers before we enter the land of our nativity. A land we are supposed to exist comfortably. 
Thank you.